As a reminder, Stanford's locker room is now open. Please silence all cell phones. Welcome to tonight's press conference for the Stanford Cardinal. Stanford Sports Information Director is John Cantalupi. Today we are joined by head coach Tara Vanderveer and student athletes Kiki Iriafin and Hannah Jump. Coach Vanderveer, would you like to make an opening statement? Yes. Um, Kiki Iriafin. Whoa. What a great game. Uh, before I just go off on that, I just want to compliment Iowa State, uh, Coach Finley and their staff. Uh, they have a terrific team, and it did not seem like they could miss tonight. Uh, if they were open, they were really knocking down shots. Um, you know, we gave up too many threes, um, but then we hit some down the stretch that we needed. Um, but again, uh, they're, they're, they're really a terrific team, and we had, uh, we had to work really hard to uh, get this uh, victory for, for Stanford. Um, I'm really, really proud of our team and how far we've come in a year. And Kiki, uh, I just, uh, my hat's off to you, how hard you played. You're an absolute warrior. And, you know, playing defense against uh, great post players, uh, Brown, Crooks. Um, and I just, uh, I'm like, we have our own 40-point score. So um, that was an awesome, awesome um, performance. Um, Hannah played 45 minutes, um, stayed with things, was a great leader for us. Talana making big shots. Um, Brooke making big shots. Um, you know, obviously, um, uh, Cam struggled, but, um, you know, when she was out there, she had some, some nice plays for us, uh, rebounded by Kiki with a double-double. Um, I think, uh, I thought a real big different, uh, thing for us that was really helpful was uh, Nunu's defense on uh, number 11. I thought she really stepped up. We had some freshmen play well, well for us, too. Um, and, and everyone's basket was important. You know, Jai hitting a shot, um, Nunu uh, doing what she did. So I'm, I'm just really excited for our team and really proud of our team and our staff. We'll now take questions for the student athletes. As a reminder, please state your name and affiliation at the beginning of each question. If you're on the Zoom call and have a question, please use the raise hand function. I will call on you if we have time for your questions. Before our first question, we have a note that Kiki Iriafin's 41 points ties Candace Wiggins for sixth highest single game mark in program history, and she's the first Cardinal to break 40 since Neka Ogumake in 2011. Nice. I was gonna mention that about Neka, okay. Um, Michael Robertson, African-American athlete, so Kiki, I'm not gonna take credit for this, but yes, the last game I said that you had a great first half, but not much in the second half. This time you had both halves. So what got into you and when did you make the, uh, the decision that I have to just make this my game? Yeah, I think I started the game off hot. And then in the second half, I kind of just remembered where we were at last year. It wasn't a great taste in our mouth. I feel like this whole season, we've had that loss last year in the back of our minds. So didn't want that to happen two years in a row. I think also for our seniors, for Cameron, for Hannah, we didn't want this to be our last game. And then again, like we want to get to Portland. This is not the end of our season. We want to make it all the way to Cleveland. So I think, you know, just giving it my all to make sure that we can get to Cleveland was something that was in, in my mind today. Michelle Smith, the next Hannah, this one's for you. 18 lead changes, 12 ties, um, a ton of back and forth, even in the overtime period. What was your level of anxiety versus, you know, sort of a calm sense that you thought you guys would pull this out? Yeah, I think, you know, we've been battle tested all season. I think the Pac-12 championship taught us, you know, or the Pac-12 tournament taught us we can come back from anything. Um, I think the main thing tonight, every time we changes, was just staying together, staying focused. We knew what we had to do to execute down the stretch. Um, and we were able to pull it out. And I'm just so proud of how hard we battled. We worked really hard to be in this game and in this moment. And I'm super excited for our team to go into Portland. Ben Parker, CardinalSportsBars.com for Kiki. Just how many hours have you spent working on that mid-range shot? Because that was falling all night. Just talk about the key to developing that aspect of your game and what's been key to make, making that so just automatic like it was tonight. I think it's been the whole summer, honestly. Um, people know me for being a driver, so when people started taking that away, started taking charges, I had to kind of buy into my jump shot a little bit. I think I love it a little bit too much now, um, but that's something that I kind of just honed in on um, and not just being very predictable. Uh, Kalsher Sam about the Stanford Daily. Um, for Kiki, uh, I, I know, like, you know, obviously you had that, uh, you know, offensive explosion, but like Coach said, you also, you know, were a pivotal part of playing defense. Uh, how did you sort of pace yourself throughout the entire game? I know in overtime it kind of looked like you had the same energy as you did uh, in the fourth quarter, so just curious how you sort of uh, kept your energy levels up. 
Yeah, I think if you want it that bad, like nothing will phase you. I wanted it really badly, so I didn't let you know any fatigue get into my head. I think it's all very mental. Um, and I was like, it's just five more minutes. If I can give myself five more minutes and help, help my teammates out. So I think it was just probably adrenaline taking over. <laughs> oh, Kiki, Scott Osler of the Chronicle. How physical was it in there? What was it? Describe. Very yeah, describe Very the, physical. The, um, they were a great, great. They, they are a great team, and their post players are great. Um, it's physical, but they're also they have great sportsmanship, which I love. So we were able to battle against each other, but then at the end of the day, pick each other up. Um, it was very competitive. Nothing was easy. And I think that that's what makes it fun, you know. So, um, kudos to them. Hannah, the matchup with Ryan, um, she had a forty-point game as well, or did she? She who's got the box? Okay. 36. 36, yeah. Um, and was hitting some really big shots. What was the key defensively down the stretch with her? Yeah, like you said, she hit some very, you know, difficult shots. Um, but she was hot, and the bucket got big for her. Um, you know, we tried a lot of different people on her. I think Talana, Nunu. Nunu did a great job. I think being a little bit bigger, being really disruptive, um, and really just sticking to the scouting report. And I think when it came down to the uh, end of the game, um, you know, one possession at a time, and, you know, we just executed exactly what we needed to to get that stop. Um, but no, yeah, she had a phenomenal game and, you know, amazing career, so. Kiki, when Cam's having a rougher night, it, does that amp you up as well? Do you feel like you've got to start picking up slack or are you just, is that motor running at the same speed regardless of what's happening with Cam? Yeah, I think Kim and I are like this, so we pick each other up. When I'm in foul trouble, she takes over and vice versa. Um, I don't think there's any pressure for either of us. We just kind of know, like, you know, we got to pick up for the other person. Um, but she was a great teammate tonight. From the bench, I could hear her talking to me every single time. She was pouring into me, saying, like, you got this, you know. So she was a great leader for us and, you know, a great encourager for us tonight. Hi, ladies. Uh, Janie McCauley from AP. Um, Kiki, Hannah, I know Kiki, the other day you spoke about just whoever's night, it, Tara talks about whoever's night it is, but um, you know, you, you had Brooke and Nunu staying mm -hmm. ready to make key contributions. Well, and, and so many others tonight, mm -hmm. just in their minutes, they capitalized. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what does it say about the depth of this group and just everybody taking their role and staying ready? Yeah, I think, you know, it's been like that all season. When someone's number is called, they've stepped up um, and played big when we need them. Um, you know, we're, we're super deep, and I think anyone could go out there and play the minutes that um, we do. So, you know, it's just staying ready, putting the work in practice, everyone knowing what we're doing and scouting report, and when your name's called, go in there. And we have the confidence in every single one of our teammates, um, as the coaches do. Um, so, yeah, you know, just go in there and do your thing. Ben Parker, CardinalSportsReport.com. Uh, for Hannah, just from your perspective, last year, you know, you guys lost in this round last year, tight game. This time, you guys pull it out in a tight game in overtime. Just what, what was the difference this year for you guys to pull this one out versus what happened last year in your mind? Yeah, I think last year, this game really taught us to just take it one game at a time. You know, um, you know we came in today prepared, um, I think, we, we just didn't want to go home. We wanted to get out of here and go to Portland. That's been our motto all week, um, to be honest. So we fought hard, and I didn't want, you know, as much as I love Maples, I didn't want my season to end here tonight. Um, it's, it was emotional for me, you know, to be here, to, to play in front of this crowd one more time. They've been incredible. It, tonight they were super loud, and I think that was, you know, very helpful for us, especially down the stretch. Um, but, yeah, we just wanted to get out of here. Uh, Kaushik Sanford at the Stanford Daily. Um, yeah, guys, uh, for both of you all, um, what did you guys think about, you know, Brooke's contribution down the stretch? I mean, you know, she didn't maybe take shots, you know, maybe in the first three quarters, but just staying ready and, and knocking down some big shots and, and those free throws at the end um, in overtime. What did you all, uh, you know, think about that? Yeah, Tara calls Brooke Steady Eddie, and she's just always, always ready. You can count on Brooke. Since our freshman year, you can always count on Brooke, regardless of how the game is going for her or how we're doing. Like, you, you can rely on her to be the energy, to be someone that – can get a bucket for us. I think defensively, offensively, she did everything that she needed to do. She was in the right spot. She hit tough, tough shots that we needed. She got key rebounds. Um, so Brooke kind of does it all, and she doesn't always get the praise that she deserves. Um, but we definitely would not have won this game without Brooke's contributions tonight. Last question for the student athletes. Cheryl Coward, Hoop Feet. That was my question. But uh, to follow through on that, um, did Brooke's shots maybe change your uh, maybe motivation in the game? Did you feel like it was a kind of a 
change the momentum for you and give you that extra lift to pull it out? Yeah, I think it was definitely a momentum shift. She got us all hyped, she got the crowd involved, and I think when we hear the crowd, it kind of rouses us up as well. Um, but I think that's what we needed. We needed that at the end to kind of push this, th push this thing and close this game. Um, but that's something that we can always rely on Rook for. Thank you, Kiki and Hannah. You can rejoin your teammates in the locker room. Thank you. Stanford's locker room is open until 10.04 p.m., and Iowa State's locker room is open until 10.16 p.m. We'll now take questions for Coach Vanderveer. As a reminder, please state your name and affiliation at the beginning of each question. From the Zoom call and have a question, please use the raise hands function. I will call on you if we have time. All right, Michael Robertson, African-American athlete. So, Coach, I was going to mention that, too, about the last time I remember a performance like this was NECA. So, when you were sitting there watching this on the sideline, did you go back to the time when NECA did this, like against UConn and those dramatic games that she did when it was uh, big moments? No, not at all. I was totally focused on this team, what we're doing, and hoping that, uh, you know, just trying to give them a good set to run when we needed a basket, uh, trying to, uh, you know, get the right matchups. Um, you know, and again, I think a real key, even though she did have 36 points, I thought uh, Nunu came in and we did get confused sometimes on some of their screens. But um, again, I, I credit, they have, uh, they shot the ball extremely well, um, you know, to shoot, what, 64% or what, 63% from three. Um, you're not going to win too many games if you give that up and they make 12 threes. But um, I, I was totally, um, I'm, I was just really proud of how our team battled. We got down, we came back. Um, you know, going into overtime, we, um, you know, Talana was, um, has been struggling with her, her knee. Uh, Chloe came in for a minute. Janai helped us a little bit. It was a total team effort. Uh, Diego Malacher, KZSU. Uh, Coach, I was wondering if you could uh, talk about how the, on defense, the screen navigation by your guards uh, allowed uh, Kiki and uh, Cameron to stay on crooks and mm -hmm. allowed uh, them to basically keep her out of the game? Um, you know, I thought, um, I thought Talana worked really hard um, getting over the screen. And, uh, you know, crooks, that's a very good screen. Uh, they, all, they all did, you know. But um, Talana worked really hard, and we, we tried not to switch that. We did switch it one time with Nunu, and actually we got a steal on it. Um, I think the fact that, um, that we, they had 19 turnovers hurt them. Um, and you know, like you said, it was a this was a heavyweight fight, and you know we just we had the we had a great fighter out there, and 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 a lot of people stepped up really big for us. Um, but our, our defense, um, we had to work really hard, and even when we were working hard, they hit, still hit some good shots. Michelle Smith, the next. I was going to ask you how you felt about how you guys your defensive effort tonight, but I also want to ask you: Is there such a thing as too much Kiki on the offensive side? Um, you know, I think that there were some times where I told Kiki, um, you know, just to, to maybe to be a little more patient, but she, you know, kind of the basket got really big for her, and she was playing with a lot of confidence, but when, when Cam's not in and Kiki's shooting, we're, we're not really on the glass very well, um, but um, how, can you, how can you have too much Kiki tonight, you know? I mean, she just, she was in that zone. She's been in it before. Um, you know, she's out there taking her three. Um, you know, but uh, she she stayed in the game, you know, and really battled and made great plays. I mean, here, um, you know, Crooks the other night was 18 for 20, and this time she's three for 21. And both Cam and Kiki were very disruptive defensively. You know, they got their threes going, which was, uh, you know, challenging for us. But this is a type of game that, um, you know, you learn a lot about your team. I mean, they battled. They stayed with things. They uh, stayed together. You know, um, it was, um, and I think that what Kiki said is really important. You know, like, I mean, Cam obviously did not have a great game tonight, but she kept talking to everyone, encouraging everyone, and that meant a lot to Kiki and helped her. Alex Simon from SFGate. Tara, with this being, back over here, with this being obviously the last game in Maples, no matter what, for Cam and Hannah, you know, Hannah was visibly emotional after the game yeah. in, in this. What can it say about maybe what the team picked up and learned from last year to kind of finish the job even in a very similarly competitive and tightly battled game? Well, I mean, you know, you're in the tournament. You're not thinking about last year or thinking about anything, but, you know, guard people, rebound. Um, 
you know, but um, I'm, again, I'm so proud of this team for um, being in this position. You know, we're going to the, we're going to the regionals and anything can happen. And we, we know we can play a lot better. And we're up against a team that was hotter than snot out there. You know, I mean, some, there were some times where people were right there and they still made shots, you know. Um, but I think this will, you know, we've had a lot of different people step up. This is, uh, this was a, a great play by Kiki, but Brooke was so key. Talana hitting her shots. Um, Nunu coming in and helping us. Um, you know, different people. Elena had a, a really good first game. And, you know, I think, um, you know, we can be really clicking all, on all cylinders. Uh, obviously, getting, uh, keeping Cam out there and really running offense and not fouling. But, um, you know, this is, uh, this is why you do this. I mean, and the, the fans were great. It was awesome environment. I told our team, you know, you don't have to go into overtime for TV, but, you know, it was a great TV game, and it was, it was exciting. Ben Parker, Carnival Sports, Sports.com. Tara, just talk about the defensive effort you got from Kiki inside, four blocks, just the rebounding inside. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the offense was phenomenal, but her defense inside seemed equally phenomenal and key to this one. Yep, and how about her 16 rebounds? That wasn't bad either. Um, you know, um, she, she, again, I, I said she's a warrior out there. And her, look where she was, look how much she's improved. It's incredible. I mean, to me, she's the most improved player. And she gave an All-American performance tonight. And I, I, I'm really proud of her. Um, but it was, a, it was a total team effort. And people were, like, looking for her, getting her the ball. You know, very unselfish basketball. And I love it. Marissa and Jimmy, San Francisco Chronicle. Tara Brooke had those two big shots at the end. She's had a few clutch shots this Who's year. That? Sorry, Brooke. Alana? Brooke. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, just how has her, how have you seen her development to get mm -hmm. to these moments where she was very confident yeah. that was going to go in? You know, I call her Big Shot Brooke. I mean, she she uh, you know she, she hit some she hit some big big shots for us, and um, it was uh, it was really exciting to you know and she she was very poised. Um, you know, just uh, she's open and she's a confident player. So it was really exciting to see her make those shots. Uh, Coach, uh, Coach Stanford from the Stanford Daily. Um, just, you talked about Kiki's defense earlier, but uh, just want to get your thoughts on how impressive it was to, to see her stay out there without, you know, getting into foul. Well, she got into foul trouble, I think, early on, but then just staying out of foul yeah. trouble, you know, later in the game. Just how impressive was it that she was playing defense on Crooks without, you know, She fouling. was awesome. She was awesome. I couldn't have asked for more. Um, you know, we, uh, you know, we went through the scouting report. We've watched a lot of her moves, and our team really uh, listened and did what we asked them to do. And, uh, you know, we, we really didn't, didn't double her except for maybe one time, and we got a turnover on that. But after that, we're like, you got to stay out on your three-point shooters. And even when we're trying to guard them, they hit shots. But she, Kiki was fabulous, just absolutely great game. Thank you, Coach Vanderveer, and right, good luck in Portland next week. All right, we're 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 excited to go. Our, we kind of said, get the heck out of here. So we love Maples, but we got to go. We'll now have a short break and be back with Iowa State's press conference. Sanford's locker room is about to close, and Iowa State's locker room has about 15 minutes left. <laughs> 